This is off-roading at its finest right here, guys. This is how we're having to roll in so I can actually see all these potholes. But uh, we are getting to the spot right now. We are meeting up with a few guys. And uh, we'll see you guys when we get there. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So we're going to bring in another little fun yak adventure. Just pulled up to a little hidden pond here in North Texas, kind of in the middle of nowhere. It is fairly cold this morning. I was not expecting it to be about 46 degrees. Uh, luckily, we got a hoodie hidden in the car. Uh, I got the kayak here in front of me, though. We are about to pull it out into the water. We are meeting up with our boy uh, Bassinator 9000. So see you guys when we get out there. Uh, you know what would be nice to have? My paddle. All right, we are just now getting out on the water and you already know what we're about to do. We are gonna rig up. We're gonna do it the right way with our mystery tackle box. Check out what they have in store for this month's collection. So it looks like we got some swim baits. Those will be really good here. Got a top water popper. Uh, that'll probably be good a little bit later on. Uh, what is this? Oh, craw. So a bruiser craw. It's pretty nice. It's got like a blue and like orangish flake. Kind of looks like a sunfish. Um, a little Weston suspending swim. Oh, this is gonna be money. What is this? It's a glide bait. A little Weston suspending glide bait. We'll try that out. See how that goes. We got some hooks. And oh, this is a sweet sticker. Look at that thing. I have to slap that on the water bottle. And then we got ourselves a Buddha Bait Company jig. That is going to be the first thing I throw on, actually. That looks so money. There's a green pumpkin with red flake jig, so we'll go with that. Got some harmony hooks in here, too. These are really good hooks. But let's pop this bad boy back together. All right, so we got the Buddha jig on, and now we are going to put this bruiser craw. Take a look at that. It is like an orange with a blue and silver glitter. Uh, it's got like green and orange glitter on this side, so kind of two different color glitters. I trimmed one end of it so we can get a better little... Uh, hook set if we do get anything. It's an hour and nine minutes, not too bad. Oh, guys, this looks pretty darn pretty. Damn, this water's clear, bro. Wow, this is like. It reminds me of like what you see for like Oklahoma style water where it's like brownish, but it's clear. Oh my gosh, this place. Guys, we just had to cross railroad tracks to get over here and uh, a bunch of terrain. And I think it's gonna pay off. Yeah, just keep moving. All right, all right, guys. I just smacked this one on the drop shot. Take a look at that. That is a healthy fish. I don't think he's, I don't think he's ever seen a, a hook. That's pretty healthy. Just felt the line start moving, and uh, sure enough, when in doubt, drop shot it out. Look at that healthy, healthy fish. It's got to be like two and a half. Maybe, maybe three. Pretty. Blends in with that water, man. Let's see. I lost my drop shot lure. Huh. What should I drop shot? Should I go Ned Rig drop shot? Or look for like a Biospawn Plasma Tail? I'm going to try that real quick. Just do a Ned Rig drop shot. That's what I like about drop shot. It just keeps it suspending. You just keep it moving. And you should be good. 
there's not a lot of uh, technique with it. Like, you know, you don't have to do a lot. You just kind of throw it out there and you let it do its thing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, another good one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's another good one. Drop shot. Wow, this one's got a belly on it, man. Look at that one, man, another. Nice, healthy one. That thing's got an insane belly. Super cold. Look at that hook set right there. Damn, these owner hooks are no joke. Look at that. So hard to get out. Ugh. A nice, nice, chunky one. Like, insanely fat belly on that one. All right, guys. Back in the water she goes. Just keep working this drop shot a little bit longer. It's been the only thing that's worked for us so far. Oh, oh damn. Another one, another one. I don't know if I'm gonna keep going this on I was literally just letting that thing sit there something came back and hit it look barely got him hooked I want to see this come out because this thing is barely barely hooked ready just like that just like that that's what I was saying I don't think we're gonna keep them because that hook set was like non-existing another another pretty pretty bass pretty good weight we are just eating them up today on this drop shot they are stiff as can be though when you get them out of the water because they are so cold. That is insane. Yeah, uh, wacky drop shot, everything, man. I should have it. Here, let me. Yeah, let me get it for you. Look at that fish that Bass Lander just pulled down. We were going to go to another pond. That is healthy, bro. There we go, Jacob. Something nice. Yeah, that's like another four. Drop shot win. All right, so everyone has finally got onto the fish here at this other spot. So it has paid off traveling through the brush and wood that we had to get there earlier. Now we are just fishing. All right, everybody, so that is gonna do it for today. The bite kind of fell off. We were not able to pull anything with the mystery tackle box, but we were able to nail them on the drop shots. I uh, got three for the day, and uh, we were out here with the boys having a good time. Can't complain. Got ourselves our first drop shot fish over here, yeah. and then uh, Mr. Swimbait over here, killing him on the paddle tail like always. But uh, that's going to be it for today, guys. See you guys next time. Peace.